Okay, let's go about now starting off to make the face. So as we can see here, I was just kind of mucking around with my drawings. So we're almost going to be kind of basing it off this guy's face. So let's start off with two eyes. So we'll go tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to press Z to go into wireframe mode. I'm going to shift A and select a circle. And let's just scale that in. I do just want plain old circles as the eyes. Mm, let's probably put it about there, I'd say. I'm going to shift D and X to move along the X scale. And I'm simply just going to do that. Now let's go new material and we will call this white. And let's actually just put it, put it on pure white. Okay. So I'm going to select these two and click F and assign. Now we just need to move it up a bit and they look a bit funny. So control N and so now we've got these two white eyes. Wow. <laughs> From here, I'm going to select this eye, shift D scale. And I'm going to plop it about there, shift D X and let's put it there. So let's select both of these control L plus and we'll call this pupil. And I'm just going to set it as black assigned. Hmm. They seem a bit small. So what I can do here is individually, I can either press Alt S and now scale being jerks. So if I go down to here to the pivot point, individual origins, and I'm going to scale. Yeah, that seems a little bit better. So I will put that back to the median point. Next thing is, is I'm going to just select this I again, shift D. And I will set that as a darker skin, a sign. So now it's kind of got this circle. It looks like a bit of a Muppet at the moment. What I normally do is I will move this one down. And while I'm here, I'm just going to select these and G Z and move them up a little bit. Let's just move this one so it sits just above the face. And I'm going to shift D and right click. Let's move it up a bit. And on this layer, I'm going to select skin. So now kind of have a bit of a play. And we've kind of ready. Now I've got a bit of a nose. I think though, what I might do is do this a little bit different to what I've done in my past characters. I think that's a bit too big. And G S oops, Alt H. I just hit it by accident. That doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of off though. Um, what I almost could do is I can't bring that to the front. However, I can bring this one to the back. GZ. And it kind of got that cool effect, like the nose is being blocked off. Brilliant. Um, now this is kind of the same way I do my ears. So I'm going to go control L shift D rotate 180 size and scale Y and now I've simply already made his ear. So there's the basic start of our face.